And I think that most Americans are beginning to fully understand that there are two kinds of people who get elected to public office. There are the people who get elected because they really want the people of the country to serve them. And then there are people who get elected because they truly want to serve the people of the country. Donald J. Trump is here to serve the people of America. And this is an election that's uh, really a choice between whether or not we'll have four more years of total failure. This has been the worst four years I've ever seen. Gross incompetence, but total failure, disaster under Kamala Harris. Nobody knows she, you know, if you, I say all the time, if you say Harris, nobody knows who the heck we're talking about, right? Line. Mr. President, I just wanted to tell you that I moved here in 1981 from Puerto Rico, and I want you to know that Puerto Rico stands behind you, and Puerto Rico loves you. But I think no president's done more for Puerto Rico than I have, so thank you. That's really nice of you to say. Appreciate it. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> And the third reason would be they hate our country. Because who would want to have millions of people coming into our country? Many of them are murderers. Many of them are terrorists. Many of them are uh, gang members from the street MS-13 and, and almost worse. You know, the, Ven the Venezuelan gangs are almost worse. And these countries are taking their prisons and they're taking their prison population, putting them in buses and bringing them to our border. Venezuela's got half their prison population has been brought to the United States of America and dumped like we're a, like we're a garbage can, like we're a garbage can for their people. And you know, we have a real problem. We have to get, we have to take these criminals out of this country. We have to deport these pr criminals and we're gonna do it. And we're gonna do it. This is the biggest senior issue. There's no, this is the biggest issue we have. They're destroying our country. They're ruining our country. You're not going to be able to walk outside anymore. I know Putin would never have done it if I was president. There's not even a chance. I used to... No, it's not a chance. I used to talk to him about, don't do it, Vladimir, don't do it. I know. It was the apple of his eye. I'd say, don't do it, Vladimir. Don't do it. Oh, this is going to be terrible, Vladimir. If you do that, not going to be good. And uh, so we have a, a country that's been run by fools. It's been run by stupid people. Low IQ individuals. They really are. They're low IQ. He was low IQ. Biden was a low IQ guy 35 years ago. He was a low IQ guy when he went to school, when he went to college. He was always a low IQ guy, but he put somebody in who's actually worse than him. And if we put her in office, this country's finished. I really believe it. This country is finished. One of the what, what do you hope from the president in terms The only reason the stock market's going up is because everybody on Wall Street thinks that Trump is going to win the election. I think this He retired as a uh, lieutenant colonel in the Marine Corps. He's uh, then flown... We're going to do the, I mean, I don't like doing this, but we're going to do the largest deportation in the history of our country. We're going to get all of these criminals out.